In this video, we're going to see how to create a new map. Go to Map Polo, and you have the choice between creating a new map from here, or go to View My Maps, and click on the button Create New Map. Give your map a title. Give your map a description. You need to set the access type. You can choose between private access and public access. A private map means that it is restricted to users or roles to which the access permission has been explicitly granted. For a public map, it means that the map has no restrictions. It can be viewed by anyone within the organization. You also have the option to password protect your map. Both maps with private access and public access can be password protected. You can combine access type and password protection fine tune your map security. Finally, you have the option to check on or off the offline option. I recommend you check the offline option on while you are creating the map. For this demonstration, let's set the access type to public without password protection. Now that we have set the title, description, the access type, we are ready to create the map. By default, a newly created map has the extent of a world and has OpenStreetMap as a background map. You will see in another video how you can change the base map with commercial map providers such as Google Map, here maps and Bing maps. Now let's zoom into the area of interest and set the default extent of a map. So I zoom into the area of interest, which in our case is downtown San Antonio. To configure the default extent, go to Configure, General, and you will see a panel, Maps General Settings, where you can set the default map extent. The default map extent determines what part of the map will show when opening the map. You have three options. You have Calculate Extent based on maximum bounds of layers. You have the option Use Extent of a currently visible map. And finally, you have the option Use Extent of where user last zoomed in, which is dynamic. In our case, we want to set the option of a default map extent to Use Extent of a currently visible map. Click Save. To show that the map has been created, we can go to Map Portal, View My Maps, and you will see in the map ball the newly created map. Let's open it. You see, by default, the extent of the map is to the area that we set as a default extent.